So, I'm here with Shell Holtz from the IABC World Conference. Shell, uh, thanks very much for being here with us. If you could uh, please introduce yourself and give a little bit of information on what you talked about yesterday, please. Sure. Uh, as you say, I'm Shell Holtz. I am principal of Holtz Communication and Technology. I consult with organizations on digital and social media as well as internal communications, crisis communications, and some other dimensions of communication. I spoke yesterday on real-time communication. It's become a very hot trend, and a lot of organizations are jumping on it, I think, very ineffectively, actually damaging their brand and certainly not connecting with customers around the issues that customers and other stakeholders are interested in. I think that organizations definitely need to be engaging in real-time communication. It's very important, but it needs to be strategic. It can't just be clever tweets based on interesting things that are going on in the news right now. We really need to strategize what our audiences, what our customers are interested in, what they want to talk about, why they subscribe to our feeds in the first place, and accommodate that with more real-time information. Also monitoring what they're talking about, what they're expressing interest in, the questions they're asking, and provide content that responds to those quickly. One of my favorite examples yesterday was when Marissa Mayer, the CEO of Yahoo, announced that telework would no longer be permitted at Yahoo. Robert Half International, a staffing company, issued an infographic that presented some of the data they had on IT worker perceptions about telework. Is sitting on this data, but in close to real time, they were able to respond with useful data related to something that was going on in the news. So much better than just issuing a, a clever tweet. I also talked about visual communication or image-based communication, which is a surging trend in online communication right now. Uh, one of the stats I mentioned is that about half of the updates that show up in a Facebook news feed are images. And this is important because, of course, much of the imagery that's being shared is based in something that's happening in real time. So there was a, a sync between the two topics, but that was really what I talked about yesterday. Thank you very much, Shell. And one of the things you talked about yesterday was also that we shouldn't start with a Facebook strategy, but to start with a content strategy. I tweeted that. It was one of the most popular <laughs> tweets yesterday. Could you talk about that a little bit more? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of organizations, a lot of marketers have Facebook strategies and Twitter strategies, and they uh, invest a lot of effort into those strategies. And I think it's a mistake because those are channels. What you need is a content strategy. And once you have a content strategy, you know you want to reach this audience with this image or uh, this kind of message or tell that kind of story, you craft the basic content object and then figure out is it appropriate to deploy on Facebook? If so, how do we adjust it so that it accommodates what works on Facebook? But it starts with thinking through what our content strategy is. What content objects do we need to create and deploy to which audiences? Uh, after that, the channels just become tactics. Great. Thank you very much, Shell. Thanks for taking the time to speak with us. Enjoy the rest of the conference. You too. Thanks very much.